All right, today we are looking at an Atari 2600 four switch wood grain system. Uh, no power, no picture, no nothing. So let's take a look. And one thing I noticed is, uh, I don't know if you can see those. Those are screws coming through the board. Those are not from the factory. Uh, and neither are the screws holding open or holding close the case. Those are not factory screws. So someone has been in here before. Uh, let's hope it's not too bad because yeah. Okay. Yep, someone has definitely been in here before because we're missing two of these. And, yep, those screws aren't doing anything. <laughs> but we still got to get them out. Disconnect the RF cable. So I changed the uh, RF cable from the, the normal one that comes inside of an Atari, uh, pretty crappy looking one, to just this, you know, uh, cable that I had laying around, and watch what happens. Connect the power. She works. So all it was was a bad cable this whole time. So now I think we should composite mod this Atari and bring it up to a little bit better of a standard and eliminate this crappy cable. First thing we got to do is remove a couple of pieces. We have to remove this transistor, this uh, doohickey here, and we have to disconnect the RF modulator. Now, that is going to be easier said than done, but we are going to try to remove it and keep all the parts intact in case it all goes horribly wrong and we need to put it back to where it was. And there we go. So piece one removed. Number two is right above it. So it's going to be these three points right here. One, two, and three. There we go. So we just have to remove also R209, which is right here. This one's going to be a little more difficult.
And we're out. Yay. That was fun. Said no one ever. So I made myself a basic one, a basic com uh, the uh, video to composite mod. <clears throat> so it's just basically two resistors, a transistor, uh, bringing in power, ground, and the original video signal, sending out ground, and the new video signal. So if I've wired this correctly, all I should have to do is wire this to the three connectors down at the bottom, and I should get a new video screen or a new video picture on composite. What are the chances I made that right in the first place? Ah, slim to none. All right, maybe not slim to none. How about slightly better than slim? Let's just clean that up. And... So we've got <clears throat> ground, then nothing, then power, and that is the video signal. So let's see what happens. Let's uh, let's just do a quick a quick one just to see if it works. So flux on there. Tin the pads. Oh, I'm just, oh, I still got my big spade one on there. That'll work for this. Okay. So it's ground. And nothing. And PCC plus five power, and then the next one is the video. power in and hook up video cable I can't remember which one's video if it's red or white and a cartridge nothing Yes! Those vias don't go all the way through. <laughs> Good old 1980s. Okay, so we need to find a place to get some audio from and then wire it up for good.
R209 is right there. So audio is supposed to be right at the end of that resistor right there. So let's grab a wire. And probably, again, I should be switching. <laughs> should be switching my soldering iron tip, but I'm already this far, and let's just go for it. Now I just need ground. Perfect. We need something. Oh, I gotta put the shielding back on. Okay, let's put the holes on the case in order for to put the video connector through and the video and audio connector through. Oop, only have it on drill.
Nice. Nice and snug. Let's run another little test just to make sure. Don't want to button it all up and then go, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Power. To keep doing that. Oops. Wrong way. Ha. Good. Now I'm just going to 